To carve the leaf, I make the sketch onto a little piece of scrap paper, just with pencil. And then I invert it by just flipping it over and then burnishing it. And here I'm just using the end of a Sharpie. You can burnish it with any tool that you have that you like. And I go over it and then I take a peek and see if the impression was made successfully. After that, I can go over it with a Sharpie. And what I'm doing here is coloring the areas with the black Sharpie because those are the areas I'm gonna carve out. It's just a process for me that makes it easier to see the areas I wanna actually carve out. Then I start the carving process and with my tool, I take the smallest tool that I have and I carve along each perimeter of each of the shapes. Now this is a fairly easy shape to carve. It does take a little practice, but it's not highly complex. So I go over each piece, carving the exterior perimeter, and then I'll slowly work on the interior. Sometimes my attention span is not so great, and so I go to each section, and I'll carve out all the perimeters first. And then I clean it up by really carving all the areas so none of the black marks shows. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a black mark, and I'll go and get that later. But right now I'm working on each of those sections for the leaves. I find it really helpful to trim the block and turn the block as I go, not just turning the tool. Then I'll jump in with a larger tool and get some of the bigger areas before I go back with the smaller tool to really get my work nice and fine and detailed. Now the way to get the corners so that they're really nice is that I carve around and then I just slowly slow my carving down and gently flick the tool up. And that results in a nice edge. I'll go around doing this on all the pieces and then I take my blade and I cut the shape of the leaf. I'll do this gently in small little slices and then I'll just go back and fine tune it. This is a part that shouldn't be rushed. I don't want to cut off part of my stamp that I've worked so hard to carve. To make that really nice curve, I'll just make small little slices, shaving each bit as I go. And then to really preserve that little teeny stem, I'm, I treat it very gingerly and carefully. When I have my stamp, I'll ink it to see if there's any areas I need to remove or how it looks. And this one came out pretty good for my first inking. Let me know in the comments section if there are any stamps that you'd like to see carved.